Hello everybody. So this is another MCQ I have brought for you today for discussion in our EQ series on eMedicos app. Uh, it's a psychiatry question integrated with functional neuroanatomy. Uh, actually these type of question come more in the exams like NIMHANS, uh, neuro integrated exams or USMLE step 1. But uh, sometimes like uh, these type of questions may be asked in central institutes like AIMS, PGI etc. So let us bring a case in front of you. A 44 year old man has had a traumatic injury to his brain. First of all you must note that uh, TBI, TBI, traumatic brain injury sequelae is an important topic uh, not only for neurological and neurosurgical manifestation but even psychiatric manifestation. Uh, after a brain injury some part of the brain is uh, damaged and uh, we know which part of the brain is damaged by looking at the symptoms which happen after the injury. For example, in this case, after the accident, the person has become inattentive and under-motivated. He tends to linger on trivial thought and echoes the examiner questions. Okay, echoes the examiner question, echolalia. Which area of man's brain is likely to be, have been traumatized? So what is the answer of this question? First of all, uh, students are able to make out uh, that it is a part of the frontal lobe itself. Limbic system has no, not uh, much role here. But which part of the frontal lobe? So the answer here is DLPFC, dorsolateral region of the frontal lobe or very famously known as DLPFC, dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Actually, how did I come to this answer? Inattention and under motivation. So in attention, loss of attention, under motivation, loss of motivation. So we need to find out the part responsible for attention and motivation and that is DLPFC. Understand, uh, through this question I want to discuss the approach to these type of question. They will give you a symptom, they will ask you brain part involved. So symptom, from symptom you find out which function and from function you go to the brain part. Like a famous question which came in in hands, Finis Gage, a person who had an accident, rod was inserted in his head and after the OT, he uh, started behaving disinhibited to his colleague, passing abusive comments, sexually explicit uh, comments, and uh, his aggression increased. So, which brain part damaged frontal lobe? Because frontal lobe is responsible for inhibition. Now, loss of frontal lobe is uh, disinhibition, and hence the answer. But uh, now, this question I have taken you a step ahead. Actually, the most important part in prefront, uh, frontal lobe is prefrontal cortex. I think this you people are aware from your anatomy knowledge. Prefrontal cortex, three major area DLPFC, VMPFC, sometime anterior cingulate and orbital frontal. Or you can call four major areas DLPFC, dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, VMPFC, ventromedial prefrontal cortex, then above the cingulum, anterior cingulate cortex, and just orbital frontal cortex. So you can see uh, from this DLPFC, what are the functions of DLPFC? Planning, strategy formation and executive function. You know what is executive function? Planning, organizing, sequencing, abstracting. Then VMPFC is uh, processing of risk, peer and in decision making. Anterior cingulate, reward, anticipation, decision making, empathy, emotion. So depending on which brain part is involved, I'll give you a list. For those who do not note, uh, have this list, please take a note of this slide. Lateral orbital prefrontal cortex OFC. How will you remember? Orbital frontal cortex is responsible for the symptom of obsession. O O. Orbital frontal cortex obsession. So aggression, obsession, impulsivity, finesse gauge probably had damage to orbital frontal cortex. Then anterior cingulate cortex apathy and akinetic mutism. Suppose they ask stupor is seen in which part of the brain damage? Akinetic mutism is synonymous with stupor. Uh, so it is anterior cingulate prefrontal cortex and DLPFC as I just mentioned working memory executive function motivation Attention as well working memory is highly dependent on attention. This is the most important slide of this complete discussion Suppose I frame a visual question on this slide as next a patient had an injury on brain and part mentioned 3 is damaged for this you need to know What is the name of the parts 3? C1 you know singular Okay Two is the frontal cortex and three is the most proximal part. So probably we are looking at orbital frontal cortex marked in three. So orbital frontal cortex marked in three. So if they point at three and ask you what will be the symptoms, then your answer should be aggression, impulsivity, obsession. Suppose they ask you uh, part number one is involved. What is one? Anterior cingulate cortex. Then your answer would be apathy and akinetic mutism. 
I hope you are getting how to approach this type of question. Okay, a kinetic mutism. It's a new style of question. Once upon a time, uh, in AIMS, they pointed at you know substantia nigra or subthalamic nucleus. Suppose they point directly at your this part mentioned as uh, four, this green color part. It is basal ganglia, Parkinson features. Okay, five is thalamus. So this is type of question which can be asked. This was entire agenda of uh, this EQ. Thank you.